What's up guys? Last night I've published a new video showing the gameplay of my pixel art platformer. Uh, by the way, you can check it on my channel. And a few people actually asked me about how did I made those uh, surprise glow. I have some crystals, flames and fireflies in the level and they have a really nice subtle glow effect on them. So I've decided to show you how it is done uh, so you can experiment with this effect as well for your own games. So, first of all, I would like to say that uh, in order to do this, uh, we don't need a specific game engine because uh, it's going to be pretty much the same in every game engine you use. You know, it doesn't matter if it's GDevelop, Unity, Construct, or Game Maker, or, or whatever. Um, the logic should be pretty much the same, and the way to do it, uh, it's probably really similar. So, let's start immediately. You know, I have my scene here, uh, I have my platform, and I have my glowing mineral here but it doesn't glow uh, for now right so how do we do that uh, so first of all um, I would probably open Photoshop and create a new file and I would do something like I don't know 32 by 32 pixels uh, not really big 72 pixel inch uh, I would choose some dark color for the background because I, I will need that to uh, make sure I see what I'm drawing actually so, right, I have my square here, and I would create a new layer. And so what are we going to do in Photoshop? You know, we, we will draw actually the glow itself, right? So I would just choose brush tool, uh, set it uh, for something which is less than 32 pixels, way less. So maybe 24, I think that will work. Okay, so now we can draw our glow effect. So if we take a look at our scene, our uh, mineral is yellow, so probably we want to make it glow with a similar like orange or red color. Uh, so what I would do here, I would draw a really, really saturated, almost red kind of uh, glow on this layer, somewhere in the middle, okay? Something like this. So one important thing to make sure that this glow doesn't cut. So if I increase the uh, actually the scene, I want to see if I actually cut it. Let me extend the background as well. I uh, need to unlock it. Okay, do I see like cuts here and there? Yes, I do. All right, so I need to create like a smaller uh, glow effect. So I would choose something maybe like 20. Let's see how that goes. All right, uh, I create a new layer. I can delete the old one. I don't need it anymore. And let's try to do it again. Uh, actually, I can use these rulers to kind of make it exactly in the middle. All right, I just drag these lines from here to there. Okay. And somewhere here. Cool done. Now I can hide my guides. You can just go to view, show and guides. Cool. This should work. Uh, let me just double check if this is alright. I increase the size of the canvas and I actually increase the background. Okay. Uh, I think that looks uh, good. So I just control Z and go back. Alright. Cool. This is alright. So now what we need to do is to export this image as a transparent PNG. Uh, so I just hide this background layer, hit file, export, save for web legacy. And here we just choose as a format PNG24. Let's make sure that transparency is uh, checked. We go save, this PC, documents, and just say it like orange glow cool hit enter and we saved our Im image so the next step uh, is to import this image in our engine so in my case I would just hit add a new object sprite I give it a name orange glow uh, add animation and here we just don't go uh, to edit image because we just need to import it orange glow. I hit open, okay, and here we go, apply, we have our orange glow. So now, 
we just drag it into the scene. Uh, let's make sure his uh, Z order is higher than all of these objects. So this is two, this is one, that's perfect. Let's put it here. And now it kind of glows, but it also hides the uh, mineral itself. We want to make it actually glow, energized with light, you know? So, because if we run right now the scene, we'll see something like this. And, you know, I'm not happy with that. So, uh, what should we do? And this is something, this is where I tell you this is kind of uh, the same way you would do it in any other engine. So we need to apply uh, a blend mode to this uh, to this image. So just a quick note on what is a blend mode. So blend mode in uh, you know digital images it's uh, uh, the rule by which uh, you blend the two layers together. So how the layer on top impacts the layer on on the bottom. So uh, by default you, usually it's done like this. So the top layer obscures whatever is behind him. But, you know, there's several different blend modes that do different things. So, for example, there are blend modes that will actually um, make the color of the object below uh, lighter, or maybe darker, or maybe they will invert colors, you know. So there are different, different ways you can combine two layers together, and that's exactly what we're going to use here. So, um... What I would do is usually just, you know, create a new event uh, and a condition uh, and, you know, at the beginning of the level or maybe we don't even need that at the beginning, like always. So the all, all, all the time uh, when our game is running, we add a condition, uh, which will be the blend mode. Let's just write blend mode, sprite effects, this is the one. We choose which object we want to apply it to, orange glow. And here we have also, uh, also like some suggestions, right? So zero is uh, normal. If we want to choose add, is uh, number one. There is multiply. Three is a screen. You can play around with that, but I would usually use for uh, if I want to uh, make something glowing or add some light to it, I would usually use add or screen. So let's try add and type one. So now what this is doing is. Uh, whenever our scene runs, this object uh, will be uh, uh, with the blend mode add, right? So let's run our game and see how that looks. Okay, it's already looking pretty cool. You know, uh, we don't obscure the pixels behind, we just blend those two layers together. And uh, the top layer, it actually empowers the colors and make them more bright. Um, uh, the colors of the layer below, right? I think it's a bit too, um, you know, too bright. I think it's a bit too much. Uh, if I have a scene when there are like lots of these objects, this would probably be uh, really annoying. So now we can actually play with the opacity of it. So well, another thing what I would do is actually apply some uh, opacity to it. Change sprite opacity still the same object equals and we can start from like you know um, maybe 99 and that will already uh, make it less bright and less annoying I think that's all right okay so we have our sprite glowing actually I, I would do it 100 that's gonna be even better okay cool so here you go, you have your glowing crystal and uh, it looks pretty much nice and you know, if you have different colors of the object that you want to make it glow, uh, you would change the color of the glow as well, right? So you would, if you have like a green crystal, just make a really saturated dark green, uh, not too dark, and then it will glow uh, with a green color and so on. So for each, for each object with a different color, you can choose uh, to, you know, have a different glow. Um, you can actually animate this stuff as well, so imagine you have like a flame and you would import then uh, a few frames with uh, this glow image like uh, changing opacity or uh, becoming bigger and smaller. 
so you can actually make this stuff as well. So uh, I hope this was helpful and uh, you know subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Discord for more stuff uh, and thanks for watching, see you next time.